Hello, you're listening to Diana Tapia's Business Chronicles, where it's all about real business problems with real solutions. This podcast is for all those looking to start a business or who are stuck in their current business. I'm a successful business owner of Dublin Place Corporate Housing who invested in the business, took it to the next level, and sold it for a million dollars. Now, my intention is to share with you my obstacles and the lessons that I learned to inspire and motivate you wherever you are in your business journey. The next stop on the yellow brick road is the maintenance stop. The definition of maintenance is the process of maintaining or preserving someone or something or the state of being maintained. In business, a healthy state of being results in more business opportunities, more money, and an overall feeling of financial stability. Do you regularly schedule your body for maintenance as often as you schedule your car for an oil change? Do you check your heart engine, your foot brakes, your HTO cooling fluid, your air filters, your body belts, your exterior maintenance, your mind transmission. Why is checking your body's engine, brake pads, cooling fluids, belts, exterior maintenance, and transmission important? Well, let's consider the following. Let's look at your heart engine. In a car, when you rev up your engine, you go faster. But what happens when you don't lessen the stress of your car engine? Chances are you might blow the engine. What about your heart? What happens when your heart is in a state of stress all the time? And what maintenance can you provide it with? Next on the list is your brake pads. Without them, your car won't brake very well and you could get into an accident. When was the last time you invested in a good quality pair of running shoes, walking shoes or supportive shoes? When was the last time you gave your feet a good foot soak or spa treatment? Next is your body fluids. Are you drinking enough water to maintain your body? Do you know how much water your body needs? Do you filter the water you drink? Why or why not? Would it make a difference if you did filter your water? Does it matter what water filters you use? Are all water filters the same? Drinking water and drinking water that hydrates your body is not the same thing. When was the last time you filtered out your lungs? Did you know that the more air you breathe into your body, the more energy you have as you expel the old air out? What exercises will strengthen your lungs and support your body for an overall sense of well-being? Could not getting enough air affect you cognitively? When was the last time you checked the flexibility of your body belts or your ligaments? Are they a little too tight and could you benefit from more flexibility? What would happen to your car engine if the belts were too tight? Probably it would snap. (laughs) Those belts would probably snap. Could the same happen to a body that is stiff and unmovable? I work from home and I end up sitting for a lot of hours during the day. I have found that doing eccentric exercises with my instructor, Miranda Mondi white has made me more limber. I do eccentrics in the morning and I love that she has five minute sessions that I can do during the day to remove the stiffness from my body from sitting at my desk. And the best part of eccentrics is that it's an online streaming service that I can do anywhere and anytime. I remember having a layover at the airport and doing eccentrics to remove the kinks from the long flight I had just been on. I highly recommend it. I think you'll love her. What about the exterior maintenance of your body? Your skin, hair, and nails. Is your hair needing a new coat of paint? What about your nails? Your nails are all about the details of your life. How you take care of your nails reflects how you take care of the details of your life. When was the last time you went in for a massage? Did you try a different type? 
Did you try a different person? Did you extend your massage to a 90 minute instead of 60 minutes? An extra 30 minute massage goes a long way. Your body will thank you. Finally, how is your mind transmission? Does your mind shift into gear smoothly? Or does your mind tend to get stuck or spin on itself constantly? Have you considered exploring meditation practices or working with a professional to clear the clutter from your mind in a safe environment? I used to have a hard time meditating. I thought I had to sit down and be quiet and still. I found that I was restless most of the time. Then I started the practice of sitting down with tea. Sitting down with tea helped me quiet my mind, slow down my breathing by looking at nature and giving thanks for all that I have. I found that with time, meditating in ways that made sense to me helped take me out of my head and connect me with my body. If you haven't tried a tea ceremony, I highly recommend it. Tea ceremonies help your body and mind connect with the ingredients of nature. While this body care list does not cover everything, what other areas in your body are needing attention and have you considered taking a different approach to what you have done in the past? You may have many cars in this lifetime, but you only get one body. Listen to your body. It knows what it needs to be healthy. Take care of your body with regular maintenance and your body will take care of you and your business. What body and mind practices do you do that have helped you in your business? Find me over on YouTube. My channel is Diana Tapia's Business Chronicles and post your comments there. Till next time. Diana. If you're looking for clarity of mind, peace of heart, and freedom to explore your dreams, I invite you to come stay at one of our five-star corporate rentals in Colorado Springs. Visit DublinPlace.us to make a reservation. Come, stay, reset.